there, it's Paulina here at Tanami Design, and today I have a video showing how to use several different kinds of punches. The first one we're going to be starting out with is the EK Success Punch. Um, this one embosses and then it also punches out. And then as you can see that there's an image on the back side of the punch, and that is where you're going to line up your punch um, paper so you can see where it continues and how to make a one long continuous punch. Um, this one is one of the new punches, so it actually has a little lock, so you're just going to unlock it here, and then you would put your paper here. So let's start out. Um, let me grab a piece of paper here. So I'm going to start with the celery, or new celery cardstock. And then I like to start in the middle of the paper. Um, this just ensures that the punch um, will land in the same place on either side. So I'll show you what I mean. So we're going to start in the middle. And then you're going to move your paper over and then you're just going to want to make sure you line up those scallops. I'm going to punch it again. We're going to line up the scallop once more. And then over here we're going to do the same thing. So you're just going to line up your punch. And we have one more punch here. Just line it up. You can see that it's all nice and um, continuous and then on both sides it has just that little extra edge so it is even and so when you were to create a card it will be even like all the scallops and it has just a little bit on either side um, that just works, works for me you can um, do um, several different ways if it doesn't bother you that one side is bigger than the other then that's fine too and then the next punch I'm going to show you is the Fiskars one it's the same kind of idea you're going to have the um, the design on the back and then it'll just show you where you continue um, this one is a little bit bigger as you can see let's see you can see here it's a little bit bigger so it's a little harder to store um, but I really love some of these Fisker designs so I have a few of the Fisker ones so this one I'm going to show you in the petal pink cardstock so again I'm starting in the middle and then you're going to want to line up your paper and just make sure it's all the way to the edge so there you have a nice pretty design um, this is the upper crest design from Fiskars this is one of my favorites I think it's actually one of my first ones too so there's the I'll show you the comparison of those two so you can see there and then next I wanted to show you um, one of the Martha Stewart ones and again, it's the same kind of idea. It has the design in the back. Um, they're all really similar. Um, this one actually has the lever back here. Um, and I know sometimes the Martha Stewart ones, they do kind of catch. It's a little harder to get a crisp line. So I tend to use some of the thinner cardstocks for this one. Um, but everyone has a little bit of uh, their preference, I guess you can say. Um, so you just kind of have to try out different punches and see what works for you and what kind of papers um, that you use and see if those work with the punches. So this one I'm going to just do the same thing. You're going to want to make sure you line up your scallops. And this one's a little harder. You want to make sure that the right scallop is lined because you don't want to have some of the scallops be uneven. So there you can see, this is an, I really like this one too. It has kind of a double scallop, I guess. It has this one right here, but then it has each of the little ones here. And then you're just going to clean it up. You can see that each of them really um, does a great job with these new cardstocks. Since these are kind of a thinner cardstock, um, they, they punch really well. And then I wanted to show you just a little bit, let's see, um, of how I use like the circle punches. Um, for the one inch one, I use the Marvy one that we carry in the Denami Design online store. And this is just one of my favorite ones. Um, it's really easy to use and it has this really um, great way you can just lift it up and the punch comes right out. Uh, I know some people actually even remove this. I like to keep it there just so I know that the, um, everything is together. But if say if you were to stamp an image and you could actually see where you're punching it out. And these ones, I never have problems with um, them punching. If they ever do get dull, um, I've heard that they do sometimes after you use them after 
lots of punches. You can use like wax paper or aluminum foil, I've heard. Um, you can just look it up online, but I've actually never had trouble with this one because it's just a really great punch. The Marvin ones are really great. And then for the nesting ones, um, we use the EK Success ones. And so this is the one in an eighth. And so that coordinates really well with the one inch. And it just creates a nice little border. So I'm just going to create that. And I'll show you that you can use them together. So here you can see it has just a nice little border there. And then there's one other one that you can use. Here is another EK Success, the one in a quarter inch. And this one is a little bit bigger um, just because it is a bigger circle so and so here you can see that all three of them work really well together and we have all of these in the Denami online store so when we have multiple circles and they have the nesting ones these are the ones that we usually use so those are the punches that I use and then lastly lately I've been really into the rounded corners in cards. It just kind of warms up a card and um, just adds a little bit more softness to a card. Um, the one that I use is the Creative Memories one. I know there's like corner chompers and I know I think EK Success has one. Um, this is one we've had for years so I haven't had to buy a new one but I've heard that there's some other great options out there. So for this one, um, a lot of them are actually similar to this one. It has like an edge and you can just punch it out and it creates a nice little punched edge there. You can just keep on going. I just want to make sure you line it up all the way to the edge. And so it just creates some nice rounded edges. And then for this one it actually the excess comes out in here and so you just dump it out and you just throw it away. So there here is the rounded one and here are the three nesting circle ones and then let me just show you once again those fun scallop borders so the scallops and um, all these actually punches are great um, ways to kind of dress up your cards and to add just a little bit more dimension and layers to your cards and even add some extra color so hopefully this video helped. Um, thanks so much for your requests. And if you have requests for future videos, be sure to let us know. Um, you can send us an email or leave us a comment on the Denami blog or even on Facebook. Thanks so much for watching and we will talk to you soon.